Hey everyone, I'm Chris with Nelson Woodworks. Welcome back to my channel. This video, we're going to go ahead and do a shop upgrade and insulate my garage door to try to get ready for the Arizona summers. So, let's get into it. So most garage door kits will actually cover the inside panels itself. The kit I found is a little different. It actually will get taped on to the horizontal pieces of the garage door itself and go all the way across. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description to the one I found online. So this is the current temperature of my garage shop at the moment. Not too bad sitting right around 80 degrees. I live in Arizona where we hit over 100 a lot during the summer. Last year we had quite a bit of days that we were over 100 and even in the 120s. So I really want to get this installed before it gets really hot. So this is everything that the kit comes with. It comes with install instructions, comes with a tape, a blade to cut the material, and then a squeegee to help make sure that the tape is firmly down and then also the material itself. And underneath everything we have, these are about 17 feet of panels and there's I believe four of them. Uh, this also should help with the sound quality as well. I do live in the suburbs. I have neighbors so when my tail saw on my shop vac is running it can be quite loud for the neighbors so this should help with the sound as well as temperature. First thing we need to do is we need to clean all the horizontal pieces and get all the dirt, grime, and grease off of them for the tape to stick to. It's recommended to use a degreaser. I'm going to use Simple Green. So let's go ahead and get this clean. So now that the garage door is clean, we can go ahead and get the tape installed on all the horizontal pieces. We'll have to cut it in between here, going across. So let's get all the rows going. And I should note that this is double-sided tape. They recommend that after you get the tape on, you remove the outer part that the panel is going to stick to and let it sit for 24 hours to build up the tackiness. Before doing that though, you want to make sure you cut down the material to size so that way you're not fighting with the tacky glue of the tape you can get the panels on. tapes on, we want to go ahead and measure all the way across. My garage door just happens to be 16 feet across. So I'm going to cut four panels out that are 16 feet across. I might cut them maybe half an inch over, so that way if I'm off on my measurement at all, I can trim it up on the edge. You want to get those cut down to size before you take off this top layer of tape. This tape has to sit for 24 hours to build up its tackiness. But you don't want to be messing with that and sizing it at the same time. So size it, get it all ready to go before you take this off. And then you have to continue the next day. I will say this tape is deceptively sticky. I was a little hesitant on it, but it's, it's extremely sticky. It sticks very well to the garage door. And it was also recommended that you can, for extra strength, you can add some tape to the vertical pieces here on either side just to give it a little bit more adhesion for the panels themselves. I'm probably going to go ahead and do that just to get it a little extra. So I did this install a little different than what the instructions had suggested. They had said to run the panel the full length of the garage, in my case 16 feet, and I just found trying to maneuver 16 feet of foam, trying to get it sticking to the tape straight, was it was just too difficult by myself. So I went ahead and cut and measured, measured and cut each individual panel and stuck it on that way. I didn't film it because honestly, who wants to see anybody measure, cut, measure, cut, measure, cut, measure, cut. But I'll go ahead and record me putting on the last panel and we'll finish it up. So we'll go ahead and get the last foam panel in. This panel has a white side and a silver side. According to the instructions, the white side is the show side. So we'll go ahead and just get this put into place and finish this up. The only thing about this compared to some of the other ones that go inside the panels themselves is you have to move around your garage hardware itself and cut out notches for your handles and uh, the whatever these are called on the garage door itself. So I just 
get it lined up, just cut it, make sure it sticks to the tape. And that should do it. I might need to come back in and just fill in a little bit gaps, but for the most part, the panels themselves are covered. Now, one additional thing, when you get this in, you do not want to open the garage door for 24 hours. It allows, it's to allow the tape and the, and the panel to adhere to each other a little bit better. Um, so we'll have to wait till tomorrow to open the garage up, but we should be good. So when we started this project, I believe the temperature read about 79 degrees. I don't remember exactly what the temperature was outside, probably in the uh, high 70s. I just looked at the temperature now. It's 88 degrees outside at the moment, and we're reading about just shy of 84 degrees in the garage. So time will tell us see if this helps at all, especially when we hit our 120 degrees here in Arizona. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, go ahead and give it a like and subscribe. I got more shop upgrades coming in the future as long with, along with other woodworking projects. We'll see how this works. Uh, maybe I'll do a follow-up video after the end of our Arizona summer. Uh, if you'd like to see that, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section below. And until next time, we'll see you in the next one.